hey guys what's up it's your boy and I'm back with another video on Marvel future fight and as you you can uh, you can hear by my voice I'm not too well but making videos takes priority so guys please bear with me and yeah let's get into it shall we first of all I wanted to show you guys the new 28 day check-in reward window I mean it just looks beautiful I mean can you even top this I mean yeah and you know what we would like to see some of these rewards you know carry over in the monthly check-in reward and you know that would be good cuz 50 boost points and all that million gold I know we get gold but not too much we only get like three to four hundred thousand and here we are going to be getting almost 800k gold so you know that's always a good thing gold is always welcome in Marvel future fight and you know what for the 80th anniversary we get an Owings blessing chest and a CTP chest you know before the update came out and the you, well, you can the, the post that was on the forum said CDP selector but that was just that was, that was just a typo a mistake made by one of the you know devs and they changed it to a CTP chest but you know what we should get some kind of content for it like someone on the forum suggested that we you know they could or remove those crappy CDPs like authority eggs and transcendence patience and we could just get like regen rage energy destruction just these four <clears throat> or they could add a veteran as well if they're feeling it you know for those PvP players but whatever you know it's all good and a free CTP is a free CTP is a free CTP and you know what anything free I'll take it yeah. we know there's a bit of RNG involved well where is it not involved in the game everywhere almost every important aspect of the game we have RNG but that is today what we're gonna talk about you guys know we had the end game update and we had the legendary battle and most of you might have purchased his Endgame uniform and the legendary battle Cause why not man It was the most fun legendary battle I've ever had Till date Even more fun than You know Spider-Man Far From Home So yeah And For rank uh, For type enhancement Thanos You were gonna get a CTP of Rage For free You know just Enhancing Thanos' type enhancement to rank 6 and that's a good thing You know a CTP for 2500 crystals. I'll take it any day man. I'll take it any day Why not? And if you have Thanos built up you can do this because with the new GBR We get tons tons of type enhancement kits and you know they've you know toned down the RNG a bit and you only need one star type enhancement kits to make six stars so you can play a ton of GBR you know get all that kits combine them combine them and get a six star there's still RNG in the type and en enhancement you know thing itself but at least you have more tries than before right so and plus you need less materials now after the update so it's a good thing and Thanos can give you a free CTP of rage if you have the Captain Marvel uh, sorry my bad yeah I think it's here no not here if you have Captain Marvel type enhancement you can get a CTP of region almost for free or like 2500 crystals cuz you're gonna have Captain Marvel at tier 2 right even if you don't have the uniform and let's see if we have anything else that might be of importance no I don't think so
And yeah, if you have a rank 6 Peter Parker or the base kit of Spider-Man at rank 6 tier 2, then you get free CTP selector. I mean, f not free technically, my bad, but for 2500 crystals, a CTP selector. I mean, it's not too bad at all. And for the free to play players, this is like good enough reward. I mean, not the 50 CCF, that's bad because, you know, Spidey does not have his uniforms that are too good. So I'm not going to tell you guys to buy them because they're both crappy. They're better than Infinity War, but they're still crappy. And I did not buy them. And not, nor will I even level 70 Peter Parker. Because I don't use him in timeline battle. And because I run debuff in timeline battle, he's just useless. His webbing won't harm me at all, so he just dies too quickly. And if ever my, you know, debuff characters are banned, all of them, I can just, you know, I have a web immunity obelisk on some of my characters. So I think we'll be good. Don't tier 3 Peter Parker, guys. I mean, it's your account, your choice, but if you want to be most efficient, do not tier 3 him. There's tons of characters otherwise that you can tier 3. Like we have Mr. Fantastic from the new update with his uniform. If you're going to tier 3 him, pick up the uniform. If you're not going to tier 3 him, do not pick up the uniform at all. It's just that simple. If you're going to tier 3 cap, you know like if we got Infinity War cap uniform right now, I would tell you to pick up the uniform if only you were gonna tier 3 cap but since we have the end game uniform you know the base kit does a lot more damage I mean it's too good to leave out the end game not the infinity war guys the end game and if you want the reward from the legendary battle pick up the team suit and right now we have I think those four uniforms on sale let's talk about them Now guys, let's talk about Thing or Ben Grimm here. If this thing will bloody load, man. He gets a 15% increase of max HP on his uniform. And we all knew that he had fracture. And when he came out, he was just a support character. And he still is. because Why? Because he gets defense down on two of his skills. His five and I think his three. Uh, no, his 4 and his 5, but they do not apply in War Boss Ultimate. New update has a mechanic because if your skill has all defense down and if it will apply in War Boss Ultimate, it has a, you know, in brackets, a new tag of ignores immunity to up to a certain percent. If you go to Deadpool's base kit or even his uniform, you'll see it there. And he has two skills with all defense down, but it will only apply in Shadowland. If you're gonna use him in PvP, you will only be able to use the Fracture because the defense down will be taken away by the debuff. And that's just crap. So, he's much if you buy this uniform, he's much safer than before. This is no, you know, slouch for a uniform, but his damage won't increase too much other than the 15% or rather the 25% gain of all attack and all defense that you will see other than that too much change so i suggest that you go with this base kit and spend the crystals for the uniform on something else like the heroic quest for wave or if you have mr fantastic and you're gonna tier 3 him or you have him at tier 3 you owe it to yourself to buy this uniform otherwise don't if you're not gonna tier 3 him at all do not buy this uniform because the same things he's gonna do cap is gonna do for you at tier 3 and caps tier 3 cost less it costs 800 his tier 3 cost I think 1200 so you can guys can do the math as for human torch we thought that you know he gets a increase in damage but you know we already knew that he had good enough damage and his uniform buff gives him 20% fire damage which is okay because I already use Satana to give him a 60% fire damage and I have a fire damage 200 proc on him so it's all well and good but you know the changes we thought he'd get are what he needed but the changes he got are not those 
so for example we had I mean like he got a changed up to skill and it looks cool and all but I never the, uh, the rotation it's not even in the rotation like the rotation is not gonna change with the uniform it's gonna be the same three four and five that's just it and you know the five has that attack buff uh, like uh, yeah sorry his five is not here but his five has the attack buff for 25 percent all attack increase and it has the same symbol as his you know iso 8 set so if and when you activate your fifth skill it overrides your iso 8 set and that is not good because captain america had that same problem with his infinity war uniform and it was you know changed in his end game but you know johnny did not get it fixed plus his third skill that was flame blast had we wanted movement on it because you know he gets guard broken easily and after that if he gets snared he's just gonna be sitting there like a sitting duck and he's gonna take damage unless you pop the fifth skill and heal him but why let all that happen when you can just give him movement and start some extra damage out of him like iron hammer has movement on his fourth skill and because of that he's a much safer character to play look he does not have that a, a bigger heal like 30% he had like 5% of a heal and but still if he had more damage if iron hammer had more damage you know he would be a better character than johnny but we all wanted johnny to be better we had high expectations and marble did not meet them so it's up to you buy the uniform it will give you quite a damage bump it will give you quite a damage bump but it won't satisfy what you guys wanted and now things come to sue mrs susan richards and you know this is the only uniform that you guys want to buy out of this update except mr fantastic that's up to you as well or the the other uniforms but this is the only must buy uniform that i can recommend safely because she gets a 10 percent increase of energy attack and i know it was more in the patch notes but what are you gonna do fighting a marble yeah and plus you get the 25 per since this is a premium uniform you get a 25 percent all attack all defense increase plus her skills get changed a bit plus she gets some added buffs so it's the only must buy uniform plus she has the five percent plus she has a charm on her third uh, sorry third skill yeah charm on her third skill and her in invisibility which augments her new kit so you know guys what pick this up you won't regret it only if you have sue if you don't have it, if you have Psylocke, go pick her uniform up when it's on sale. And it won't let you down. And Sue has that hidden, you know, heal. With the charm. Like Enchantress and man, is it good. So that's all from me guys about the update and about getting the heroic quest for Wave. I will not buy it yet maybe i'll show it to you guys on my other account but from this i'm not gonna buy it yet because i'm saving my crystals for two uh epic deluxe packs and once i get to 10,700 crystals i'm gonna be buying two of the epic quest packs at the same time so stay tuned for it guys and thank you for watching my videos if you liked it share it with your friends and leave a comment down below what you would want me to change or anything else or any other content that you would like me to make. And peace out guys. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.